Welcome to the spring steelhead video from the Sanborn Creek Cabin. This year we hit the Pier Marquette River during the last week of March and we were eager to get fishing because it had been a really long cold winter. But we had some prep work to do. We had to tie up some spawn bags to use as bait. We start that process by laying our spawn bags out on a paper towel and placing spawn in the center of the bag. And then we use this silkworm product, which is a no-tie product. It makes tying knots really easy. You just wrap the bag with the thread, snip off the extra, drop it in the bucket, and we're ready to go. This is what we'll use as bait on the river. And we're going to use a variety of colors because we never know what the fish are going to be hitting on. After that, we load up the truck and head to the Pier Marquette River just outside of Baldwin where we see evidence that other people have been fishing today too. And after a short walk through the woods, we make it to the river's bank where we can take a little bit of time to tie on a leader. We use a six pound leader with a snell hook on the end and that helps to camouflage both the line and the hook so that you tend to get more strikes from steelhead. Just like that, we're ready to go and we're fishing. Soon after, we get a strike and we've got a fish on. The spring steelhead fights pretty good, but not near as hard as they do in the fall. Because the water temp's still pretty cold. It's only about 35 degrees, so the fish are pretty sluggish. As they wait for the water temperatures to warm up so that they can spawn out. Because that's what they're up here for this time of year in the spring. Now this female has actually been caught before and we take a quick look here and we can see that hook right down in its mouth so that just goes to show you that um, they are pretty hungry animals this female is uh, still carrying her eggs up high and she has not spawned out so we're gonna put her back and let her go lay her eggs and we're gonna get back to fishing because the conditions seem right to catch some more steelhead so we fished the river hard for a few days and uh, ran into some people on the river, dodged a couple of drift boats, but all in all, we had a great time. We even were able to hook up with an old friend from Missouri who was up for the spring steelhead run, hoping to hook into some big trout. And the river looks really good. The conditions are right. We've got a lot of color to the river. The water is up, and there's definitely a lot of structure to hold fish, including a few new snags that weren't here last fall. All in all, we worked pretty hard, but we were able to catch some really nice steelhead over a few days of fishing. We enjoyed ourselves, the weather was warming up, we could feel the water temp getting better, and the steelhead becoming more active. If anything, we were probably a little bit early, and the water temps weren't quite where they should have been to make the fish very active. But hey, any day is a good day on the river. We'll see you in the fall when we come back to Baldwin, Michigan for steelhead and salmon fishing. In the meantime, check us out at SanbornCreekCabin.com. Thanks for watching.